chilling scene behind us in the Bay State that many say they just can't seem to shake. A kayaker off Massachusetts coasts is being followed by a great white shark. Marine biologists in Massachusetts tagged a great white shark off the coast of Monomoy Island this afternoon. It's the first such tagging of a great white this year. The tagging now allows researchers to track the shark's movement. And with all the shark sightings lately, we wanted to know are Rhode Island beaches safe? Do it 5 30. Eyewitness News reporter Catherine Sotnik went searching for answers today, and she joins us now with more on what she's learned. The Department of Environmental Management tells me it would be a very rare occurrence to have a great white shark venture into a Rhode Island swimming area, but they say it is not impossible. Naws at Beach Cape Cod. The image is chilling. A man looks over his shoulder in panic. Ten feet away is a dorsal fin of a great white shark. According to Deputy Chief Mark Gibson of the Rhode Island Division of Fish and Wildlife, this type of occurrence would be very unusual at a Rhode Island beach. But the Deputy Chief says he would not rule it out completely. He says sharks go where the food is. Most recently in Cape Cod, there have been dozens and dozens of seals attracted to the cooler water. We also spoke with Save the Bay in Newport. There are food sources there. Uh, they have seals up there still this time of year, um, and they're hunting the seals, and that, that's going to be the main reason. But Aquarius and Education Specialist Adam Kovarski says it would be extremely rare for a great white to wander into Narragansett Bay. The average depth of the bay is only about 25 feet, and uh, sharks, large predatory sharks, need much more habitat uh, depth and space to be able to hunt and find their foods. He does say, though, beaches like Matunic and south of that could see more shark activity offshore because of their location. And we do have our coastal beaches, uh, which are facing uh, the Atlantic, and there is more chance of the large predatory sharks coming into that area every once in a while. And the DEM says that great white sharks have also been found tangled up in commercial fishing gear in state waters before as well. In the newsroom, I'm Katherine Sotnik, Eyewitness News.